a lovely late October day and I thought today would be a brilliant day to do a review of our plum pyramid climbing frame which we have in the garden and the reason I wanted to do this is because when we bought this we spent a lot of time looking online for reviews of this climbing frame we couldn't find anything and it's not a cheap purchase it retails at £559.99p although you can find it cheaper online if you have a little look around and it's a really big purchase it's something that you you only buy really once in a lifetime and I had lots of questions about it and I really wanted to find somebody who already had one and who knew the answer to the questions so I have one we've had it now in the garden for a couple of months and hopefully I can give you some of the answers to the questions if you're considering buying one okay so first of all let's talk about assembly because if you've been looking at this online you probably will have seen that it tells you that it will take two people half a day to put together and uh, I thought that was probably optimistic judging by some of the reviews I'd read and I wanted to tell you that actually this took us two people and a full day to put together and my father-in-law my husband did it and my father-in-law said that apparently the instructions don't bear too much resemblance to the actual picture of the product that you're trying to make so it is a tricky one to assemble and if you're going to do it I certainly wouldn't attempt it with one person and I certainly would allow a full day to do it rather than the half a day that they say that you need. So let's talk about size of the climbing frame because when you look at these online before you make a purchase it's very difficult to get an idea of how big they actually are in relation to real people. Often they'll have photographs of kids on them but you don't know if the kids are small or big or what age they are and how that relates to the actual product. So I'm five foot eight and you can see the platform behind me is just a little bit lower than me so it's quite a decent height up, shoulder height and when you see Theo playing on this as well, the footage of that He's about a metre tall. I know that's slightly confusing because I've just given you in me in Imperial and him in Metric, but that's the difference in our ages for you. So he's a metre tall and there's lots of room for him to move around. And one of the reasons we chose this climbing frame over other ones is the fact that it doesn't have a roof. So as he grows up and he becomes taller, he can still climb up here and go down the slide without having to crouch down and bend, which was a real concern with some of the other designs. So let's have a look around the climbing frame. This is the back of it and up here you've got access to the platform and to the slide via two routes. So you have these painted metal bars here, four of them, and then on the other side you have a rope ladder to get up which is fixed on both with screws and uh, with some brackets up here at the top. Very sturdy, good rope ladder made of um, synthetic rope so it's the kind that doesn't stain if you're leaving it out in the rain and it's extremely strong, we had no issues with it coming off or anything like that. So we're round on one side of the climbing frame now and this is the part where you can access the tent area underneath. And uh, these sides fix up on, on both sides, so you've got one side which has the entrance and the cleared mesh and the other side is a, is a fixed bit of canopy. We've had this up for two months now, um, it is a very windy location where we've put it. I'm very impressed how this part of the canopy has stood up to use because to be honest I thought it might get ripped very early on just from the wind um, but I've noticed that on this side here we have already got quite a lot of damage to this finer mesh stuff and I can only assume that that has occurred because we've got some velcro here which is the only way that it holds together so the velcro holds together so I'm presuming that when the wind is blowing that has caused the damage on this side of the mesh here. Um, not entirely surprising to be honest because when the wind blows it's pulling this about, about and yes it's damaged, yes it's only been two months but the main part of the structure of the canopy is absolutely fine so that's not really a deal breaker for me. And so we're round at the front of the climbing frame now, two elements to this side, you've got the plastic slide and you've also got the climbing wall. Our son is three, I wasn't sure he would embrace the climbing wall but he has with great enthusiasm and he can zip up there very quickly, never fallen off it and it's a, a fantastic addition to the climbing frame. Now as far as the slide goes, a couple of things. Um, Firstly, we were told by friends who have similar climbing frames to make sure that you locate this in a spot where it doesn't get full sun because apparently in a summer's day, in the heat of the sun, this can become very hot and then unusable. Um, we've actually chosen to put it under a tree and as you notice, I've cleaned this off this morning 
but in the space of the last 20 minutes we've already got leaves on it so we didn't pick a brilliant spot either you've got to find somewhere that's got that balance of not being in full sunlight but also probably not being underneath a tree because that wasn't the best place to locate it so then in conclusion the plum pyramid climbing frame we're very happy with it it does take longer than they tell you to construct it i would challenge anybody to actually manage it in the half a day um, so it's wise to get at least two people on the job and allow a full day and possibly get some sandwiches and some chocolate biscuits on standby as well um, very sturdy construction once it is put together though and no issues with that and it has weathered very well in the first couple of months in the garden we bought it for a three-year-old Possibly we did that too soon. He doesn't get loads of use out of it yet, but I know it is going to be something that he will use over the years. So ideally four, five, from that point onwards, it's a good purchase for kids and they will absolutely love it and we love it too.